Well, I was just going to ask you to remind us, and you just did, how big and important we all are so we can always step on that low self esteem that we have. Yep. And I want to thank you. You're very So welcome. if there's anything else you can add to how wonderful and big. Yeah, and and I everything. will. It's important to understand that once you get both that, past the, thank you for that, thank you, um, past the earthly um, matrix, and I did mention this before, but I feel it needs to be said again, it's been brought up, is that you get to that cosmic matrix and you've got to realise there's a whole bunch of beings there that are trying to contain us within their paradigm as well. And some unknowingly are doing that. They just think their paradigm is it. Right? They might mean well, but they just don't realise that they're within a limited paradigm as well. Yeah, as above, so below. There's a whole bunch of us that are asleep on this planet. You've got to realise there's a whole bunch of entities and beings that exist in the fourth dimensional paradigm that are also asleep within their paradigm. I've had ETs come to me. I was flying from Singapore to Adelaide on, my, on the leg back from Europe. And I had two beings come into the ship. My whole body started vibrating. Cynthia grabbed my hand. She goes, are you all right, but darling? And I said, yeah, yeah, I'm good. I've got visitors here. People, it, it, luckily it was, it was dark. Um, <laughs> otherwise people would have thought I was having a bit of an epileptic fit. But two ETs came to me. And they were so excited, that's why I was, I was shaking, because of their excitement. They were a bit over-exuberant when they came to me. And, uh, and the whole plane in front of me just disappeared, and I was just in this room. And they were about, about where these people are standing, about that far away from where I was sitting. And everything was dark, and all I saw was these two beings. And they were just so happy, and they were saying, thank you, thank you, thank you. Because we've been caught up in one of those paradigms for so long. And by us observing what you're saying and listening to what you're saying, it's helped us to break free. And by us observing the human race and how you are all going about it, you've got to realise just how many ET races you're teaching. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That is reality. We're teaching them so much. And they've learned so much from us here on Earth. And at least some of them have got the fortitude to come up and say it. Yeah. I just want to say, uh, do you think we take turns in different uh, universes to experience this dive? Because we're here. We're aware of this. We're not aware that we're infinitely uh, in the omniverse. Um, it's so dense here. Does that cloud us from the whole omniverse? No, only this aspect of you, because of the nature of this universe being light, so you experience from that centered state one expression, another expression, and the further you go down, the deeper and the more expansive that expression gets, the, 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 the more the separation is, the deeper you, you go down. But that separated state of being that we've been experiencing right at the very bottom, that's what makes it difficult for us to understand the rest because we're so separated, we've, we're detached from it so much, we've lost that awareness. And that was part of the journey that we wanted, it's part of the journey inside this universe. It's, it's just the nature of this universe, it's building blocks, it's just like that. I can see coming out of it and being more aware of all of our aspects. Oh yeah. The moment, the moment you're in the fifth dimension, you're aware of all your aspects, everywhere in the whole universe, and you're even begin to get a bit of a feel for, for out there. But that's as far as I can now tell you in here with this level of awareness, yeah. Okay. Oh, may I just add to that, even part of, parts of us in the fourth dimension, you know, there's part of you that's an ET out there on another planetary system, there's aspects of us that have a bit of an awareness of other aspects of self. So you might be uh, being on one planetary system and you might have an awareness of 10 or 20 or 30 other aspects of self in other systems. So have a contemplate about that as well. Um, it seems like the whole point of this is to reach the very top of the whole. And I was wondering, are there any experiences that you could relate to us that you've had with interactions of reaching, I guess, the highest level of this paradigm that would be. Yeah, the experience I had in 2003 when I went up through the universe, I got to re-experience that aspect of self. 
and peep out there. Because I haven't achieved that yet in linear terms. Alright? So we 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 see that hole? We are back here. We enter as oh, actually, thank you. I might get, put that word there as well. Because we enter as a whole and sanctified being here. So we enter there, and then we go through the process of fragmentation and separation, and then we come back out of that process to once again be whole. Um, you showed a picture of like the fuzzy uh, yellow dot in the middle, and then it kind of dispersed on the way out. Yep. So, is the whole the picture, or is each one of those individual dots a whole in itself? Relative to the previous graphic, yeah. each one of those dots is a whole. Okay, so right now we're being given the opportunity to reach one type of whole, I guess. Yeah, How do you reach the whole whole, then? No. <laughs> <laughs> there, there, there is no whole whole. <laughs> because our true nature is infinite. <laughs> there is no totality of anything. <coughs> That'll do your head in. <laughs> it did my head in for a long time. It, it has to do with understanding what it means to be infinite, truly infinite. So the, the concepts to contemplate so to help you achieve that understanding is I've never been born out of anything. It means I've always existed. It means I always have been and I always will be. And there is no totality of anything. Those, those concepts there are the ones to sit and come.